Hi, I was thinking today about the opportunities that come our way, the things that that happen, that the universe presents to us, that other people offer to us, and our responses to it. Because I was remembering a time when uh, there was the chance of becoming an EFT founding master, and I knew it was going to be a lot of hard work, and I, I just said yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then worried about how I was going to achieve that afterwards. And and it worked. And that's when I've made the best decisions in my life usually. When I say an immediate yes to something and then work out how that's going to happen later on in you know, further down the line. Because I find, certainly for me, that when I start thinking about things, when I put my head to things, I can come up with a million reasons why I don't do something it'll be too hard, or I don't have what it takes, or people won't like it, or it won't work for me. Um, there's always reasons that we can sabotage ourselves. So I've learned over the years that, you know, the best option is something comes up, I say yes. And then it seems like the universe moves around and offers us whatever it is that we need to achieve whatever it is we've said yes to. But unless you've said yes, the universe is not going to do that for you. Um, it's like anything else. When you've got one foot in and one foot out, there's no, there's no definite way of moving forward. So why would the universe or anything else waste energy? Because you know, if you have one foot wanting to go forward and the other one's holding you back, where does the universe put the energy there? Does it keep you back? Does it push you forward or does it just stay out of the way and let you sort yourself out? And that's my experience. Um, and certainly in, in, other, in other times of my life when I've made big changes, it's usually been because I've just done some tapping usually to, to clear what I'm aware of being in the way, said yes, and then allowed whatever's necessary to move in. So I thought we'd do some tapping on that because... You know, it happens to all of us, doesn't it? Opportunities arrive and some we take and some we don't. So even though the world is full of opportunities and some of them come my way, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though those opportunities come my way, and sometimes I say yes, and sometimes I say no. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though sometimes they arrive and I get too far stuck in my head and I'm thinking of the, what happens if I do? What happens if I don't? I think of the pros and the cons, the pluses and the minuses, and above all I think about the dreaded hows. How's that going to happen? How am I going to do that? All those little things that we use as stoppers. to keep us stuck in the old familiar ways. And I'm open to the possibility that maybe I could use my gut to help me. What's the first feeling I get when somebody offers something? And I wonder how it would be if I could say yes. And then thank the universe for giving me what I need to succeed. Even though there's that magical thing about the universal energy, that when you've made a final decision Everything will move around to help you. And that little bit in here is not entirely convinced. I'd like all parts of me 
to consider how many times that's happened to me successfully. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And the parts of me that focused on what doesn't work. Even though sometimes I might find myself doing something I don't want to do. And I'm open to the possibility I can say no then. When I'm clear, it's not what I want. And if all that stops me saying yes is the yes buts and the what ifs, I could say yes and then tap on them. And I enjoy watching the whole universe move around to help me achieve what I've said yes to. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself and everyone else involved. Loving and accepting myself and all those people who help me connect to yes buts and what ifs. Giving myself permission to joyfully say yes. Tap on anything that comes up and watch as the universe moves around me. Giving me whatever it is I need to be successful at whatever I said yes to. And I'm open to the possibility that life might be a whole lot more exciting and more fun when I say yes more often. And I deeply and completely love and accept all parts of me. So just notice the opportunities that come your way. And before you find yourself saying no, consider if you could wave a magic wand and didn't have to work out how, would you like to say yes? And if you would, then do. Enjoy it and have fun. Bye.